Good morning, beloveds. In the ultimate act of self-care, my alarm went off at 6.30. I got up, I looked out the window, I said to heck with this, and I went back to bed. <laughs> um, it hadn't started raining, but it was going to. And I really needed the sleep. So, you know, there are times that you need to sacrifice whatever your plans were and rest. And today was that day for me. So, um, and now <laughs> Tom was going to let me sleep through the live stream and my, I have a Fitbit. My Fitbit warns me 10 minutes till the hour. So I was going to get up anyway. And I was like, it's got to be almost nine. And I asked him, yeah, he was going to let me sleep through the live stream. So, um, but I didn't. And, um, that's okay. That's okay that he was going to let me do it. And it's okay that I chose not to, um, Sometimes you need to rest. And today was the day. And it is raining now. So it's just a light rain. And it's that light rain that you you can hear it. And that sounds like it's going to do it all day. So. So it will be a day of rest today. <laughs> Whether I like it or not. Alright. But it is December 19th. It is Saturday. Our title is... I see God in everything personified in all people manifest in every event. All right. Theirs was the fullness of heaven and earth. The more that they gave to others, the more that they had. That is, I'm going to spell it for you. Uh, K-W-A-N-G dash T-Z-E. Tis love itself that worketh the one harmony of all. Therefore, let us sing the praise of God. And that is from Herbie, Hermes. Um, I believe that that is from the Kabbalion. We are all the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. And that is from Romans 8. 16-17. All right. Whew. Jesus said, give and to you shall be given. All the great scriptures have announced this central and transcendent truth, realizing that the act, every act carries with it a sequence, bringing the result of this action back to the self. This is what is meant by karma, for karma means the fruit of action. Emerson called it the law of uh, compensation. And Jesus proclaimed the same law in his teaching that as we sow, so shall we reap. This is why Huangzi tells us that there are more, that the more we give to others, the more we have. Walt Whitman also refers to this when he says the gift is most to the giver and comes back most to him. This all means that the return of the self, wait, this all means the return of the self to itself. The great apostle did not tell us to forget the self. He merely told us to also remember everyone else. We are to view ourselves, each in the other, and behold God in all. Hermes tells us that when we realize love as, a, as the great harmony, we shall all sing the praise of God. Before we can do this, we must perceive this harmony in one another and in everything. Thus, everything that seems separated is united at the root. Over all, in all, and through all, the sustaining beauty of the inevitable, seed of perfection. To which Browning referred, Robert Browning referred as nestling at the center of our own being. I see God in everything, person, personified in all people, manifest in every event. The spirit is not separated from the person or the event. 
it united each to itself, vitalizing each with the energy of its own being, creating each through its own divine imagination. I, too, am an instrument of its perfection, and today I recognize my union, which is perfect and complete. Wow, there's a whole lot. <laughs> there's a whole lot in that today. Just a whole lot in that. He, some days they're really short, and today he took up the whole page. <laughs> he took up the whole page. Um... So really quickly, I want to start with the idea of karma, because frequently we talk, when we, meaning us in the West, uh, talk about karma, we talk about, um, I'm almost, I'm, I want to use the word revenge. We talk about karma in, as if revenge. It's like, for all of the people who've done bad things to you, well, karma's going to get them. But that's not what karma means. <laughs> Karma literally, karma literally, as he says, means fruit of the action. You give what you get. The more good you put out, the more good you're going to get back. And the more evil you put out, the more evil you're going to get back. Um, it's, um, you could use, uh, if you're familiar with Trower, the, the law of reciprocity, um, what you put, what, what you send out is what you're going to get back. Um, if you, in the pagans, they call it the threefold rule. You're going to get back three times what you put out. Um, it literally is the energy that you send out is the energy that you are going to get back. And that's one of the reasons why they say, if you want love, give love. Because the universe or spirit, or whatever it is that you want, is going to give back to you what you are giving out. Um, and why one of the most powerful um, actions we can take is gratitude. When we send out gratitude, when we show the universe that we're grateful what, for what's around us, then the universe says, oh, then let me give you more to be grateful for. Um, and when you are loving, then the universe says, well, let me give you more to love. And when you're compassionate, well, when you're compassionate, you get more to be compassionate for. Um, it's, it's, it's this amazing response that we get from the universe around us. It works. Try it. So today, the lesson and that's what he calls December, the lesson. That's why I think that they may be from that uh, lesson that you could mail in for. Um, I see God in everything, personified in all people, manifest in every event. That is a huge challenge. That is absolutely a huge challenge. I am not going to make light of that because there are a lot of things that happen in the world that you go, how in the heck is God there? But then you look at the people involved in the act and you go, they're godlings. That's how God is there. Um, but God doesn't judge. We have free will. And we are allowed to make a mess. And then it's on us to clean it up. So the, it, it is a huge challenge. And that is one way to start. When, when things happen, then you, look at, then you look at the people involved and you go, they're godlings. They just have forgotten who they are. And so that's where we start. We start by treating that they know who they are. Uh, theirs was the fullness of heaven and earth. The more that they gave to others, the more that they had. I mean, you can't get any more clear than that. Um, Tis love itself that worked the one harmony of all. Therefore, let us sing the praise of God. Okay, just, yeah, tis love itself that worked the one harmony of all. Therefore, let us sing the praise of God, because God is love. We are the children of God, and of, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and the joint heirs with Christ. And that, that was the one from Romans. Um, 
and that's that's why I say we come pre-installed with the Christ software. And the password is love. We are born with the password we just forget. And so it's up to us to remind each other, hey, the password is love. The password is love. All right. Jesus said, give and to you shall be given. All the great scriptures have announced this central and transcendent truth, realizing that every act carries with it a sequence, bringing the result of this action back to itself. Uh, and he, that's why there, you've got the, the selection from different faith traditions. I think that's one of the reasons why he's done the selection of the different faith traditions uh, this month. Is He's like, look. <laughs> and that's one of the things that Science of Mind is based on. Ernest said, everybody has a piece of the truth. Nobody has the whole truth, but everybody has a piece of the truth. So it's worth investigating what everybody else has to say. Um, and then we separate the wheat from the chaff and we keep what works from us and we don't denigrate anybody else's faith or practice or what have you, because if it's working for them, then that's what's important. Um, I forget who said it, but, uh, there, there are many paths to the top of the mountain. The only one who is wrong is the one who's running around the bath the bottom of the mountain telling all of the people climbing the mountain that they're wrong. That's the only wrong path. So, you know, feel free to go out and read other faith traditions. And if you find something that works, then keep that. We do have a responsibility of um, acknowledging where it came from. Give credit where credit is due. Uh, there's been too much of that and the word is cultural appropriation. There's been too much of that. So, you know, if you find a practice in another faith that works really well for you, then give, give thanks for that. Give acknowledgement for that. Say, I found this here and it works. Um, and honor the ancestors that it came from. So, but that's what Ernest did. Ernest read everything he could get his hands on. This is what is meant by karma, for karma means the fruit of action. Fruit of action. Whatever action you take, what you reap, you shall sow. If you, if you sow love, then you'll, you'll get love, and if you sow anger, you're going to get anger. <sighs> fruit of action. Emerson called it the law of compensation. Yeah, go read that essay. <laughs> That's the name of the essay. Um, and Jesus proclaimed the same law in his teaching that as we sow, so shall we reap. This is why Kuang Zi tells us that the more we give to others, the more we have. That's one of the reasons why they talk about how blessed the giver is. Um, and that's why we have a responsibility of being the res being a receiver. It's like, it's wonderful to give and you get a lot from being a give. And one of, the, one of the best gifts that you can give is to be a receiver and let someone give to you. Um, for those of us who have been trained from, you know, knee high to a grasshopper, to, to always be the helper, it's hard for us to be on the other side of that equation. It's hard for us to ask for help. It's hard for us to receive. And yet, therein is a, an amazing power of letting someone give to us. Think about that for a minute. Okay, Walt Whitman also refers to this when he says, the gift is most to the giver and comes back most to him. The law of reciprocity. Um, this means that, this all means the return of the self to itself. This all means the return of the self to itself. I'm not quite sure what to think about that, but fortunately Ernest deals with that. So let's move on. That's, that's one I'm going to take into meditation. Um, the great apostle did not tell us to forget the self. He merely told us to also remember everyone else. 
we are to view ourselves each in the other and behold God in all. View ourselves each in the other and behold God in all. That's one of the reasons why I encourage you to look in your look in the mirror and see God looking back at you as well as looking in other people, you know, when you meet people, look in their eyes and see God looking back at you. Um, I want you to, to see God looking at you as well. The self returns to the self. Hermes tells us that when we love, when we realize love is as the great harmony, we shall all sing the praise of God. Before we can do this, we must perceive this harmony in one another and in everything. Okay, before we can do this, I don't know, before we can do this, we must perceive this harmony in one and another. So, um, my husband has been um, very kindly going to the CD store at the end. I'll send him, say, hey, can you ask and see if they can get the CD? And he'll stop on the day he gets off early, mostly because he goes to work really early. And he, he'll bring home, and he finally brought me, they're called The Script. They are from, I believe, Ireland, either Ireland or Scotland. And one of the songs that they had was about love. And it's like, how can you love anybody else if you don't love yourself? And that's exactly what this sounds like. Because I was listening to the song going, that's kind of hard. Um, you can love other people before you love yourself. So don't let me, don't let me talk you out of that. But if you want to love everyone, it, the job is going to be a whole lot easier if you love yourself. And you should, I'm going to shit on you for a minute, you should love yourself because you are a godling just like everyone else. Um, you are worthy of that love. So see, you know, when you love yourself completely, then it's easier to love everyone else. So, yes, you can start loving other people and you can start loving other things before you love yourself, but you have to love yourself to love others completely. All right. Uh, okay. Thus, in every... Thus, everything that seems separated is united at the root. We are all rooted in the same spirit. Over all, in all, and through all, the sustaining beauty of the inevitable seed of perfection to which Browning referred is nestling at the center of our own being. Okay, so overall, in all, through all, sustaining beauty and seed of perfection must be quoted from Brown, Robert Browning. Um, because they're all in quotes. So, overall, in all, through all. When science of mind practitioners start treatment, science of mind ministers start treatments, the, uh... Okay. Well, I lost that point. If it comes back, it comes back. Um, nestling in the center of our own being. So Jesse talks about the center of our own being being you know, that place where nothing has ever been wrong. The center of our own being. I think I'm kind of like the center of our own being isn't our own center. Um, that is God. That is spirit. That is that place that Reverend Jesse talks about that has never been, where nothing has ever been wrong. Um, the center of our own being. And that's where everything grows out of. And if we tap into that space, the center of our, that center where nothing has ever been wrong, then everything that grows out of it is going to be amazing. Because it is coming directly from that divine energy. And when we try and root ourselves anywhere else, it kind of comes out a little sideways. There's one life, one power, one presence. And I am a part of that presence. 
That's it. That was the point. And that's what I want to root in. That's what I want to grow from. That is the energy that I want to use. I want to use that pure love to grow. All right. It came back. <laughs> okay. So our the the tiny little paragraph at the end is always the, the affirmation part. I see God in everything, personified in all people, manifest in every event. The spirit is not separated from the person or of the event. The spirit, capital S, is not separated from the person or event. That bears repeating. It united each to itself, revitalizing each with the energy of its own being. So every time I said it, that was a capital I. Creating each through its its own divine imagination. And I love that. I love that phrase so much. I love that. Creating each through its own divine imagination. I want to believe that I was created by divine Im imagination. I love that. I But I love imagination. I want to believe that I was created by divine. I want to believe that God imagined me. I do. I want to believe that God imagined me. And I want to believe that I came out pretty fantastic in God's imagination. And I want to believe that about each and every one of you, too. So we were all created in its divine imagination. I, too, am the instrument of its perfection. And today I recognize my union, which is perfect and complete. Oh, our mission today is not a small one. Our mission today, should we choose to accept it, is absolutely to see God in everything, personified in all people, and manifest in every event. And the way to start is to look at the event and see the people, the actors in the event, as the godlings that they are. And when it is an event that we would not choose then we realize that the actors in the events have forgotten who they are, and that's where we start our treatment. We start our treatment that the actors in the event recognize who they are, that they recognize that they are children of God. As the Romans quote says, we are children of God. If we are children of God, then we are heirs. And if we are heirs, we are joint heirs with Christ because we come pre-installed with that software. So, I'm going to encourage you to do something loving for yourself, do something kind for yourself, do something compassionate for yourself. Today, mine was turning off the alarm and going back to bed. So, um, and please do that every day. Please recognize that you live in a state of grace because you are a beloved child of spirit in whom spirit is well pleased. You truly are a child of God. You came out of the divine imagination. And when it is time, that is where we will all go back to the divine imagination. So, um, do something to engage your mind and your body today. And as I like to, I got it earlier this year in the, in the quote, um, open the windows of your soul and allow that breath of heaven to remind you that you live in heaven now. You are a beloved child of God in whom God is well pleased always. And that is the state of grace that we live in. So, do what you need to do to make it a fantastic day. Um, it is Saturday, so Reverend David should be on with you around 5 p.m. And I will be back with you at 9 a.m. And then we will have an amazing service for you at 11. Um, whatever that looks like. So, uh, this is my uh, Reverend Rita. She went to all my ministerial classes with me. Um, <laughs> and frankly, I think sometimes she's a better minister than I am. So, have, do what you need to do to have a fantastic day. All right, beloveds.